So we've looked at how to use for and range to repeat things a fixed number of times, but what about if we don't know how many times we want to repeat something? Well, we can, of course, use a variable with the range and the for commands, and that's what I've done in this example here. So the top line uh, asks the user uh, to give me a number, and then it repeats this text that many times, because what I've done is I've uh, stored the user's response in the variable num, and I've used that in my range command. So if you type in 10, it'll give you a list of 10 numbers and repeat that uh, text 10 times. So if you run that and see what happens, so it'll ask for a number. I can type a number in. So if I say 4, it'll print the text four times. If I go back and pick a different number, so if I say 8 times, for example, it'll print the text eight times. But still, really, we've done the uh, printing a fixed number of times. We've just uh, adjusted the uh, number that we fixed it to. So what about if we really don't know how many times we need to repeat something. So if we want to repeat uh, a step until a particular thing happens, well we can do that in Python using the while command. So for, if for example um, we wanted to make sure that the person gave us a positive number, so give me a positive number, and we want to reject any negative numbers, what we could do is we could use this um, construct, we could first of all make sure that the number is negative and then we could use while to repeat. So we could say while num is less than zero, so we've got a condition and the repeated section will be repeated while that condition is true. So while the number is less than zero then we'll repeatedly ask for another one. Again we need to indent so that's why I need to make sure that I've um, set the value to a negative one at the top because we need to make sure that this while loop works at least once. Because the check is done at the start, it's possible that um, it doesn't run at all. So you need to be a little bit careful to uh, set the starting conditions. So what this will do is while the number is less than zero, and it is to begin with, so it's going to happen once, um, it'll ask for another number and store that in the variable num. And if that number is also less than zero, it'll ask again, and it'll keep asking until it gets a number that's greater than or equal to zero. And if we want to see uh, that it's finished, um, what we could do is we could just put something at the end. So this is on the, against the left margin, so it's not going to be repeated. So if I run this program now, we'll see what happens. So it's going to say, give me a positive number, and if I type in a negative number, it'll ask me again. And if I type in another positive, a negative number, it'll ask me again. And if I give it a positive number, it'll say thanks. So it will stop the program. So we don't know how many times that the person is going to have to enter a number before they give you a positive one. They, they could never do it, in which case the program would repeat forever. So that's an example of where you might use while. Also, if you're doing some sort of calculation and you don't know um, how many results there are going to be. So if you're calculating square numbers, for example, you could say uh, x equals 1. So if you wanted all the square numbers less than 100, say, you could say while uh, x times x, so that's uh, x squared, isn't it? So while x times x is less than 100, uh, we'll just print x times x. Now, in an example like this, if we just do that, x will never change, will it? It will just keep printing out the same number. So if you're going to use a while loop with a number as a counter, in this case, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we increase um, x as we go along. Otherwise, it will just be stuck in that loop uh, indefinitely. So I'm going to add 1 to x, and then we'll go around again. So the first time, x is 1. So 1 times 1 will be less than 100. So it will print... Uh, 1 times 1, which would be 1, and then it'll add 1, so it'll be 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, so that's less than 100 as well. 3 times 3, less than 100, etc. So if I run that program, what we'll see is that it'll give me a list of all the square numbers less than 100. So we haven't got a fixed number of repetitions, but it keeps going until that particular condition is true. Um, just as an example, I said uh, a minute ago that uh, because the condition is tested at the top, it might be the case that the while loop doesn't run at all. So if I make x um, 10, for example, 10 times 10 is 100, which isn't 
uh, less than 100. So if I run this program now, what will happen is nothing. The program doesn't run at all. So as an alternative to repeating things uh, a fixed number of times, you can repeat uh, while a particular condition is true, or if you want to repeat uh, until something is true, then you just need to reverse the logic. So if you're repeating until you get to 100, basically you're doing it while it's less than 100.